Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I will explain Fourier transform of rectangular pulse or one can say gate function. You can observe, here we have been given with rectangular pulse. This rectangular pulse that is having magnitude A for the time interval of minus 2 by 2 to plus 2 by 2. First of all, let me represent this graph in form of mathematical function. See, this rectangular pulse, let us say that is x of t, that is having magnitude A for interval which is ranging from minus 2 by 2 to plus 2 by 2 and it is having value 0 elsewhere, right. So that is how one can represent given rectangular pulse in form of mathematical function. Now I will identify Fourier transform of x of t. So one should know Fourier transform of x of t is x of omega and that can be expressed as per integration is having limit from minus infinite to plus infinite x of t into e to the power minus j omega t dt. Now we need to place this given function in this integration. See this x of t that is having magnitude a for the duration of minus 2 by 2 to plus 2 by 2 and it is having zero value elsewhere, right. So here with this integration only value is there from minus 2 by 2 to plus 2 by 2 otherwise x of t is 0, right. So for the duration of minus 2 by 2 to plus 2 by 2 magnitude is a, right. Now we need to simply integrate this. For this integration you need to take this constant a outside and integration of e to the power minus j omega t that will be e to the power minus j omega t divided by minus j omega and here limit is there from minus 2 by 2 to plus 2 by 2. Now simply we need to apply the limits. So here we have a divided by minus j omega. First of all apply upper limit that is e to the power minus j omega 2 by 2 minus apply lower limit that is e to the power minus minus plus j omega 2 by 2, right. Now we need to understand this. If you apply this minus inside, then order will change. Now it will be a divided by j omega and here we will be having e to the power plus j omega 2 by 2 minus e to the power minus j omega 2 by 2, right. And if you take this j inside, then here we will be having divided by j. And to have this in form of sine function, let us multiply to and divide to, right. So what is this? This is sine function of omega 2 by 2. So you can say this is 2a by omega into sine of omega 2 by 2. Now we can represent given function in sampling function. Let me explain how. One should know the sampling function. See sampling function of t that will be sin t divided by t. So if you want this in form of sampling function, then here what we will be doing is, we will be having sin omega 2 by 2 divided by omega 2 by 2, right. So if you observe carefully, here we have a, right. And this 2 that is going in denominator over here and we are additionally dividing 2, so we need to multiply 2 here, right. So that is how we are doing adjustment over here. So what is this? This is 2 into a sampling function of omega 2 by 2. So this is x of omega for rectangular pulse, right. This is x of omega for rectangular pulse, right. Now, I will be solving one problem based on this. Sometimes there can be simple question in competitive examination. So, here I am taking one example. See, in this example, we have rectangular pulse and for this rectangular pulse, we need to identify Fourier transform of this. Recently, we have calculated Fourier transform of rectangular pulse. What is that equation? f of omega 
that we have calculated that is a to into sampling function of omega to by 2 right if you carefully observe this then here with this we have amplitude that is 2 and instead of limit from minus 2 by 2 to plus 2 by 2 here limit is there as per minus half to plus half second so here 2 is equals to 1 second that is given so if you apply the data over here then a is equals to 2 2 is equals to 1 right then this f of omega that is 2 into sampling function of omega by 2 so this is the Fourier transform sometimes there can be answer in form of sign so one should know sampling function see sampling function is sign of omega by 2 divided by omega by 2 right so here this 2 will go in numerator so this will be 4 by omega into sine of omega by 2 so that is how one can identify Fourier transform of given rectangular pulse I hope you have enjoyed this. Still, if you have any confusion, just place that in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.